right? So that's it. The truck is done. It's black on the bottom. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Make Stuff Better. Um, today, I'm taking my Slash F-150 Raptor Fox body, and I am going to make it stronger. Um, so I'm gonna Gorilla Tape the inside. I've got that right here. And I'm just gonna go over how I do this, because I think it's a good way to do it. The reason I'm doing it is partially for stiffness so that this doesn't crack on me because I like this body and they're expensive. And the other reason is if you look right here, you can kind of see my finger through it. That's because when I'm driving around in the sand, the rear wheels are kicking up sand right into these corners and literally just blowing it out. And I've got another spot here. If you look at the inside, you can see this a lot better. This is where it's worn through. You can see it worn through there. Um, but yeah, it's just going to help protect the paint because that's on the inside and it will keep it from cracking. Just creates some strength and stiffness to it. So first thing I'm going to do is pull off all these little screws. There's looks like seven of them for the mirrors, for this cool hood vent, and then for the grill. So let's do that first. Now one thing I did do is I washed the inside of it so that I didn't have any dirt or debris in here because the tape isn't going to stick to water or dirt or sand and I've been running this in sand recently so uh, just rinsed it. I didn't worry about actually washing it with soap and water, just I figure a rinse will be fine. Um, one thing you're going to notice is like this orange stripe here, which is the same as this stripe here, is once I duct tape this or gorilla tape it it's like a uh, gray color on the inside um, hopefully it kind of matches this silver so you don't see like dark spots but at the same time because it's dark and thick light can't get through the underside to shine through the top so you're going to see this orange be less fluorescent and the, the silver will probably be darker also what is really important is that all these little nooks and crannies in here that you get the tape into those. And I'm gonna go across the bed first, just like this. This is gonna take a lot of tape. A little bit of water I missed. So I'm gonna go across the two holes here in where the body posts go first. And I'm just going to lay it down. I'm actually going to give myself more on one side than the other, and I'll show you why in a second. So basically what I want to do is I want to start in the corner. So I'm going to stick this really well in this corner first, and then I'm going to work my way out to the wheel well, working that little ridge there with my thumbnail, and then working the flatter part of this wheel well flare. And then that next little lip on the wheel well. And I let this hang over the edge because I'm gonna come through with my knife later and just trim the whole thing up. And then, and then I just work my way across this way. I'll have to pull that up. So the sides of the bed that are raised on the outside, they're sunken on the inside. And so we have to get right down into all of these corners. There we 
go. And then I can come up the flat part here, roll over the edge, and then down into the next rib here. Yeah, this bed is going to take a really long time to do. So I'm not going to show you all of it. I'm just showing you my technique. And as I get to some of the more interesting sections where things are a little bit different, more difficult, I'll let you know what those are all about and how I navigate that stuff. So I just worked my way all the way across the bed just like this. A lot of these short course bodies don't have all of this detail. This one's special because it's the Ford Raptor edition and yeah, it's just gonna take more, but it's what it takes. Right here, you can see that dark strip. That's where the tape is. And so this whole thing will look that dark when we're done. You don't see it so much over here. It's kind of like the paint was really thin right through there, but you can also see the edge of it come up through the orange there. And if I hold it up like this, you can really see the difference in how the body looks with the dark backing. But that is first strip all done. So I'm gonna do the rest of it. So I wanna get into like this area where it's deep and long. I'll take the tape and I'll tear it in half. Well, less than half, actually. Just a strip like this. And what I did was I made sure I got it on the bottom and then through the corner and down the back because this area here is going to get hammered. So I wanna make sure one piece of tape does that and I don't put like a flat piece here and a flat piece here because then nothing's holding this corner together. And then the same thing right in here. I'll put this down so that it hits this side and the very bottom there. And at the corners here, I just put a slit in the tape so that this part can come down flat and this part can wrap around the corner. And it'll leave a little bit of a space there, but I can add a piece to that to cover it really important that the tape sticks to every surface on the inside of the body because otherwise it won't provide strength if it's not actually stuck to it. I've got the bed almost done. The end of the tape didn't quite make it on this one and that's actually not a big deal at all. I can just run another strip of tape from here out or I can run it lengthwise but I'm gonna finish going through the body before I worry about that. That'll be one of those last things I do. And I'll show you some other spots through here as we go where I'm gonna do big strips and then I'll do little pieces in between the big ones to fill in some of the holes. On the very back here, this last piece of tape that went across, I let it overhang just a little bit, you can see in here, and then just pushed it down over it's not a great seal, but this is an inside corner, so it's not gonna get a lot of abuse in the, the running of this body. Now, this inside corner, these are some tricky areas. So this is what I do. I'll get a short piece of tape and I'll wrap it around the corner this way, just staying below where the corner is down here because that's just going to be too many angles for a piece of tape to bend around and then I'll work my way up up the side of the body oh it is down because this is upside down just getting it in the couple of grooves that are right here sometimes you got to peel it back and I just use my thumbnail to get in there and really stick it good. Anywhere there's a little nook and cranny, I want that tape pushed in there really, really tight. And then for the spot down here that I missed, I'll grab an even smaller piece of tape 
and I'll just go which with with whatever direction it looks like it fits best. So it looks like it's gonna go this way best. And by using smaller pieces in these more intricate areas, you actually get a better fit, better coverage, better, it, it sticks better. So I think you're gonna have much better body protection. And now you can see that is completely, oh, except for one tiny little hole. And I do want to cover that because that's an outside corner. Here we go. Stick it really, really well. There. Now I can get the other corner. The back is pretty easy. It's mostly flat. I'll just run one piece of tape across the back, letting it overhang like this one is and run around the edge with my knife. Got the bed pretty much all done. What I did for this last piece is I let the um, tape strip below it is about here, but I didn't want too much tape overlapping up onto this big flat section here. So what I did is I just overlapped the strip before it a little bit more. You can see the line here and the other line there. And then because you've got more material going this way, then you need to go this way. You can see all these little wrinkles, but that's fine. You just pinch it together because then the tape sticks to itself. It's super, super strong. And then for these two corners, I'm gonna use just a small piece to get in here around all of this stuff because that's very, very detailed. There's so many corners in there. You can see the outside of it right here. You got that to get into, then there's this corner, and then you've got the inside of the corner over here. So just a small piece of tape, and we'll work it into all of that. You can see I actually put two slits in that to make it kind of fit there. And then on this side, I've already added the next piece of tape, which is just a thin strip that goes down and under and back out. And this little corner here, this will get a piece over it. And then I can start doing the big strips that go back and forth throughout the rest of the body here. As you can see, pretty simple. Lines are pretty easy all the way through here. Got a little bit of body showing there, so I'm gonna cover that up. But the whole back end is done now. We're just working our way towards the nose and we're almost there. So when you get to these more interesting areas, you'll see I'm gonna put a slit right here and I'm gonna put a slit right here. And then I'm gonna put another one right there. And so when I fold these over, they kind of create their own little, oh, that one's still stuck. Didn't cut it all the way. It helps them contour to the body. Oh, need another one down here. There we go. Just like that. So you get these relief cuts. We fill that in later on. All right. So I have, I'll zoom out a little bit. I have all of the taping done. I'm just going to go around the outside now and cut it so that the body is, the, well, it's the same shape as the body. One, yeah, here we go. All right, so that's it. Truck is done, it's black on the bottom. Did a pretty good job. I do wanna get some uh, spray-in bed liner for like re real pickup trucks. 
and try that on the inside of bodies because I think it would be a lot faster as far as the work time goes. I mean, I can use this right away. I don't have to wait for it to dry or anything. Um, but yeah, you do see like where the, uh, right here, it got worn through a little bit. It is now silver because the, or gray, because the tape is gray on the outside. But if you look at these parts back here, you don't really see it because the tape is gray and the body's silver. So it actually did a really good job covering that up. Um, along with making this more durable, we have now made it about at least three times heavier. So if that's something that concerns you, you probably don't want to do that. Um, we also made it quieter. Like it feels and sounds much quieter. It doesn't have that nasty plasticky sound anymore. It sounds more like rubber, but that's basically what we put on there. It's just Gorilla Tape. I also used a bunch of Gorilla Tape. This took me probably an hour and a half-ish. It does take a little bit of time, but it's totally worth it. This body is going to last so much longer. And because I really like having this body, it's really important that I take care of it. Um, it's not a shelf queen, but it is really nice. And it's expensive. And as I'm going over it, like with all these plastic bits and the details, I'm like, you know what? I guess it is a $100 body. They do a pretty good job with the paint. So... This video is long enough. I have another mod I'm going to do this, but I'm going to save it for the next video. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.